Yo, hello, what's up, Trickaxer, and welcome back to another video. So today is the lecture 10 of Logo Making and Adobe Illustrator 2021 in Windows 10. So in today's video, we will learn how to create artboard, edit them, and how to easily navigate them. Uh, easily we can navigate through them. So artboards are helpful when you make different brochures for different uh, for the companies and you want to make the card so you can set different artboard for the new model if you're working on something new and the previous model which you want to present to them and uh, many more if you want to make different version of the brochure and that uh, that could be um, helpful now it could be hard to navigate through them so we will learn how to easily navigate through them so let's get started so guys you can see i've made a document uh, you can see from your blank document i've just used the common web page uh, to make this document uh, you can choose any document you want and now first of all we will learn how to create an artboard so first of all to create an artboard we need space so this white blank page is an artboard and you can see down here this black area this is the canvas uh, anything drawn in the canvas uh, will not be shown uh, but anything drawn on the artboard will be shown so if you want to save it only the artboard will be safe uh, if you want to export it i mean uh, and if you want to print it uh, anything out only the things on the artboard will be shown anything outside the artboard will be cut off so if you have something going out it would be cut off it could be helpful like if we want something from here to just go from here and some part is outside uh, if we want it uh, if uh, if it was to be printed we will uh, do it from here and it will its length will increase so it is a really helpful feature so now to create an artboard uh, we will first need space so we will just go to the zoom tool or just press z i will just press c these are shortcut which can help you and then we will press the alt key and we will minimize out another way is to go down here and just click and you can choose from anything i will just choose from 8.3 or 4.12 so this is the borders of the um, our uh, canvas and out of this so we will not be talking about that anymore now to create an artboard you, you will need to go to the artboard tool the artboard tool is right here you can see artboard tool or we could just press shift plus o to get the artboard tool so i will just use the short key and you can see this appears we have a different mouse pointer and you can see the properties of artboard now if we want to draw it we will just drag from here and you can see down here a width and height of the artboard it is in the pixel we can change it as i've shown in the previous video you can just change it while making uh, the artboard the first artboard you can choose the measure of uh, the unit of measurement so i have just chosen pixels and this looks fine so i will just do like this now uh, in the right we can see the properties of the artboard so its position its width and height the artboard's name we can change we can create an artboard from here or delete the artboard we can choose uh, the present and the presets uh, it means the uh, uh, the documents that are already present you can see we can make it a letter size legal tabloid a4 a3 b5 b4 iphone x and so on so if you want to make it you can see i can make it a letter it is small you can see its size is 792 pixels by 612 pixels now i, I will just uh, go here and uh, do it ipad pro and you can see it has increased now to change the name uh, just go here we can also change but sometimes it doesn't work because some glitch happens so now to change it if the glitch happens just click here you can just double left click here and you can see a uh, name you can change the name from here i will just name it ipad 
and then I will just press OK. And you can see it is showing iPad as the name. You can see here and it is showing O2 because this is the second artboard. So now uh, uh, we can make many artboard with our custom size. You can see. You can make many artboard and put artwork on it. Now let's move on editing artboard. So you can see this is the document the units at pixels we can change it to some centimeters also so now to edit artwork just uh, go to select and if anything is not uh, if anything is selected just click on deselect now to edit artwork you can see uh, in the property panel of the document there is edit artwork option you can click here and you can see here how we can edit the artboards so it is the same as artboard tools you can see we can also drop from it it's another way if you want to make artboards just click here now to edit artboard you can just move from here and you can see the unit have changed to centimeters when we change the unit from of measurement from there we can do precise uh, measurements uh, i mean the precise values by placing them here maybe we can also change from here and the orientation can also be changed so we have just discussed this and you can see there is another option uh, called the move artwork with uh, art bound so just uh, let it keep take if uh, just keep it ticked if you want to so this means that uh, the artwork on the artboard will move with uh, if you move the artboard anywhere else so I will just draw this here and I will just keep it in the name of H I hi and I will press it and I will just okay and I will just name it okay and then okay and I will name this three now after we are done we can exit from here it means exit artboard editing mode so now to navigate through them you can see if i select the artboard it there's a very slight black boundary around it now to uh, if you want to zoom into that specific artboard to work on it we will just go to view and we will go down here to fit artboard in window. You can see this artboard is fit into the window. Now to move to the second one, we can go here and you can see all the names. Artboard one, which I named OK. Artboard two, which I named iPad. So I will just uh, go to OK. And you can see from here, I can move to high. And we can also move from here. You can see it moves in artboard name. I mean the artboard number, which was first created, which was the second created. Now, if you want to see every artboard, just go to view and go fit artboards. I mean, fit all in windows window. So you can see everything is fit here. So you can navigate through them easily by clicking here or just going through as if you want to edit everything now uh if anything very small is also made like a fifth artboard like here you will just exit it you can see it is really small and i if i want to i will just go to this fifth artboard you can see it is now gigantic but it's a really small size it is just zoomed and now i will just if i want to i will just type a text on it now when i go uh, to view and fit all in artboard you can see it is really small so now if i want to work on it i will just go uh, to artboard 5 from here or we can just go here to selection to the deselect it and we can go to artboard 5 so you can i don't think you will work for very small object but if uh, you want to work for a small card you can do it 
So this is how you can navigate through the artboards and we have also covered how to create artboard and how to edit artboard. So guys, thanks for watching the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Have a good day and bye.